Hey, what's going on? Hey, how y'all doing out there? Woo, your boy Cars is back. Ah, we got Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2023 coming in hot and heavy. Oh, and it's fire. It's for real fire. It's so good. They made so many improvements, and it's live, y'all. It's live. Go pick it up. Hit it on their uh, on their website. Hit it anywhere you can find it. It's worth it. It's so good, and it's so real. And I'm back to bring it to you. Let's do it. It's so good. Back here for GM Games. Bro, it's so good to be back online streaming. And, um... I'm not going to lie, I just want to get right to it. Hold tight, hold tight. Chris is sending me messages. He says, let's go. I'm going. Tell me if it's not working. All right, so I'm sending my messages. We're off and running. And first of all, here's what we're going to do. We had a date and save, right? We had a save that we went through uh, different levels and different quadrants and leagues and whatever. And we we're making our way up. We hit UNC. We won everything possible. We went to Dayton. At the end of my last save, there wasn't much left that I really had energy to bring to you guys. So, and you know, it kind of fizzled out. I found other interests. I did other things. Uh, but life happens and and things happen and at this point at, at, at this point on March what are we at March 11th 2023 I have a problem and it's right here it should be on your screen you should be seeing this I have a problem the Louisville Cardinals are ranked 49th in prestige I have a problem I can't deal with it you can't tell me you can't tell me the Louisville Cardinals are 49th in prestige you can't tell me that and not have it whoosh, you just cook up a little right in here you know what I mean so I've had a lot a lot of saves I've streamed a lot I've done a lot of things I tried to bring back Tulane I tried to give you four and a the Rattlers, whatever we got, the green wave. But look, now it's getting personal. Now it's personal. 49 prestige. That's unacceptable. And I'm a Cardinal fan. So we're going to do the Cardinals. We're going to bring them back. And I'm telling you, four or five seasons, we'll have them in the final four. And we're going to start cooking, boy. We're going to cook. But... First of all, we got to get this thing set up and moving. So let's go ahead and get these Louisville Cardinals with this 49 Prestige, which is total nonsense. Total nonsense. I mean, I, I respect the mod builder. I do. Oh, Agalia. Ah! Agalia is jumping in. Damn, you get my hopes up. Now we're getting a two day bonanza 49 Prestige where they belong. Hey, where they belong. Agalia, I've got two. Um, giant letters that I would like to deliver to your residence and you just like go ahead and pop in your address and I'll get them over to you and I'll let chat debate on what the letters may be I'll go ahead and let chat debate that here we go baby alright we're the Louisville head coach we're taking over we're turning this around and we're putting the Louisville Cardinals back where they ought to be at the Head of the table. Head of the table. Nowhere else. 49 Prestige. What a bad joke. Ooh, Kenny Payne. Not Kenny Payne. I could not care less. Somebody needs to get in there and run that team and put them at the top of the table. The head of the table. I'm not dealing with 49s. Absolutely not. Agalia, laugh all you want. We're going to... I, I'll tell you this, in my solo play, I kind of low-key got drubbed by the uh, Luck of the Irish there in South Bend, but uh, it didn't last long. It didn't last long, brother. It didn't last long. Soon to be 39. Oh, good luck. 
My prestige drops a point. I'll send you five dollars. Send me your Venmo, bro. Send me that Venmo. My prestige goes down to a point. I'll send you five dollars. I'll send you ten. We got the SBJs back. Sweet baby G's. All right. We got our association completed. All right, here we go. So this will walk you through a little bit of me evaluating like a roster and how you move forward. But like these guards are garbage. We've got a, oh, we got a four star freshman at small forward. Okay, that's interesting. We actually have two freshmen and a sophomore that are kind of interesting. Good scoring. Defense is good enough. This is a good player, Isaac Green. Uh, do we have... So we don't have the recruit rating, and part of me is a little bit worried that a, a player this good without any kind of uh, advanced knowledge is probably going to declare early so that's sort of where my head's out on head is at on green right now let's check out chad cunningham oh you know he's not good he's not good i don't care what his star rating is fraser bowman oh okay so now this is an interesting this is like a case study right so i would actually love some input from the rest of y'all on dudes like this because his scoring and defense are both five. Those aren't great. But his offensive rebounding and defensive rebounding are both at seven. And I have seen guys that can score and change the course of teams based on their inside rebounding and inside shooting. And so I think he could be a dude like that. And he's only a freshman, so that's interesting. Ah, uh, Gail, you're just talking shit about 49 prestige teams. Whatever. We're, we're going to win a national championship here within five years. So, uh, let's check out the budgeting. Let's see where we're at. Let's, uh, so, what we want to do in this initial season is just sort of stabilize the program, right? Like, we're coming into a bad situation. We have, like, one, maybe two interesting players where I would like to have seven eight nine even ten interesting players we don't have that so i'm going to try to keep the chat alive but if agalia says dumb stuff i'm going to ignore him but actually agalia said something brilliant and that centers in particular seem to be able to score really well even with low scoring if they have nine plus inside shooting and he's right he's half right he's half right because the other half of that is they need the rebounding because if you get an inside player that can rebound and has good inside scoring they will dominate they will dominate so um I typically tend to look at scoring and defense as like sort of my like barrier to entry for players that I think are going to be worthwhile. But Agalia is right. If you get a guy who has the inside scoring, who has the rebounding, they can be really, really dangerous. So keep that in mind. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. So this is actually a new feature to 2023 is this budgeting. So they're putting me on 286. Ugh, it hurts. And they want me to spend what? Expect to spend 125. What's that leave me with? Uh, I'm gonna put some vague numbers in. 40, 30, and 60. Oh, that's going to be too much. I don't even have 60 left. Oh, they're killing me. They're killing me. All right, hold on.
All right, so hold on. I'm only spending 105. They want me to spend 125. So they want me to send tw another 20K, and that would completely, completely eliminate. No, that's not going to work. Not going to work. All right, so we got to think about this. Um, I need about 25,000 to recruit in this game. I need about 25,000. We're going to take it to Wilmus. I can probably make this work early. This isn't a great look, like, once you get into it, once you get into, like, top-level recruits. But from where we're at and where we're trying to go, this is enough early. Let me check chat real quick. Agelia says, click all the updates again. Maybe I didn't. Doesn't seem to make a difference. All right, here we go. I think this is going to be about as good as we can do. We're, we're putting something into amenities. The problem is, like, this is all going to be, like, 30 to 40 rankings, I think, on what we're spending versus what other teams are going to be spending. So... We're going to really, really need to hit, uh, at the end of the season, those budget increases. Because this just isn't enough. And expected to spend 125 Hold on, let me think about this. Yeah, expect... All right. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't spending any more than 100 Because 125 is too much. Like, with where we're at, 100 is fine. We're going to expect this to dip down to an A-. minus, And we're going to be okay with that. All right, let's go. Alright, so now we're on summer travel. And hold on. Alright, decent. Whatever. Check out this summer travel. So when you're absolutely getting crushed on budget, your own region and Indy is really all you can do. Could you cut back on it? Maybe. Could you just go your own region? Ooh, maybe. But to me, with a program like Louisville, oh, it's tough. Because we are at a 49 overall prestige. Could I back out of Indy? I could. But I'm not going to. I could, but I'm not going to. I want that information. How do I prioritize the three? Blazer asked how I prioritize the three. And to me, it's it's really uh, putting about double into um, amenities as opposed to what I'm putting into the other two. And you could revitalize that a little bit uh, based on your own strategy and what you wanted to do. To me, is, is this Louisville team with 49 prestige kind of screwed? Yeah. But where I want them to be, and where where I'll take them, where I'll easily be able to take them, is into a level where the the recruits are more important than training current guys up. So I'm going about double into amenities what I'm going into either of the other two subjects, and that's sort of been my strategy. If I were playing with like a, mm, I don't know. A, Penn State or something where like I was trying to build something up over time yeah maybe I go more training but with a team like this if I did not think if I were not confident that I could get their prestige up in like three or four years I'd put more into training but I'm confident like I'll have these guys playing in Final Fours real quick uh, won't be a problem so 
that's why I landed where I landed. Right, let's move through let's move through a few of these. Gillia said he'd go 44.20 at his initial school, and I'm going to 100% say that totally depends on the level of your initial school. If you're, like a Colorado, which for the record, you've been absolutely killing, if you want to do like a Colorado, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. If you want to do like a uh, Indiana, Indiana is a great example, Indiana, I'd put all of my money into the amenities and just recruit like crazy because they have that higher natural prestige so i would say the the amenities versus training i would take into consideration the natural prestige of the school and if you don't know the natural prestige of the schools hit some of us up in our dms because we definitely do Yeah, the overall recruiting budget being lower than in private year uh, in previous years is 100% due to the lack of having to spend on reports. I can I can get by with about twenty five thousand. I would like to have thirty. Anything over thirty is a gift. I realize that I just passed on a, on a week with no um, visits, but we're good. We got a plan. We're going to hit it. Here we go. All right, so basically for the first few years, when we're still relatively low prestige, what we want to do is hit on targets that are within our geographical region that should be interested in our school and that we know, that we know will qualify academically. So like, home's obvious, easy. And these guys, so when, let me think how to explain this, when, when you're, when you're on the come up, when you're trying to move up the ranks, I always think it's a good idea to grab some of these guys who are just above your range. Because, like, the guys in our range, obviously, right now, are, like, right here, right? But when you're coming up, reach for these guys. You never know what might happen. If it doesn't happen, so what? They were two of the 50 that you tried for. But go for them. See what can happen. Check the GPAs, though. Now we're just looking for players. We're not going to fuck with the 2.2s. We'll take everybody else. Mm, yeah, he's fine. Good, good, no, good, no, no. Oh, wait, they're cool, yep. If they're interested, I will bring them in. If they're not interested, that's when you definitely need to worry. People who will not academically qualify for your school will never be interested, as far as I can tell, in builds up to this point. <clears throat> like, this dude? No. Get away. Alright, let's check it out. Let me check the uh, comments. <clears throat> Hi hey, Breeze, what's up Breeze? How you doing buddy? I haven't talked to you in forever. How you doing? Oh 
Padilla said, did I just sim through national chance without having anyone on my call watch list? Uh, yes. And I would love to say that that was a strategic decision. But in reality, I've been trying to get all my ducks in a row so that I could stream for like the past two hours. And I was just excited and, and moving. And uh, that was a mistake. So, sue me? I don't know. I mean, I don't have that many scholarships available this year, so... Actually, now that we point that out, can we cut a few players and make this happen sooner? Because, like, this team, if I'm just being honest, this team's crap. Bowman, Cunningham, and Isaac Green are the only three that really deserve to be on this team. Just flat out. Oh. Two, three and a half. Two, three and a half. Two and two. No. But you're a senior. So that's cool. Two and three. Get out of here. Two shooting guards, they both really suck. Whatever. Small forwards. Ah, get rid of Griffin. Exactly two power forwards. They're both. Hmm. Hey, they both suck, to be honest. Like, all the players on this roster suck. I'd cut every one of them. Nobody on the entire roster has a defense above five. There's exactly one player with scoring above seven. The entire roster is just awful. Absolutely awful. I'll cut off Avery. Small forward. Can we cut a small forward? No, one of them's a walk on. Could probably cut another point guard. You got one scoring and three defense, bro. Get off my team. Get off my team. Get out of here. Got nothing for you. If you're never going to contribute, get out. What's my GPA cutoff for recruiting? It depends. It totally depends. If the five-star number one player in the nation, MVP at Indy, was a 2-5, I'd go for him. If it's a three-star player, I'm going to make sure that they have some interest in me initially. And everything else in between, you know what? You make that decision as you come to it, right? Give me the 5,000 you spent on that camp. I'll give you my Venmo. <laughs> Man, you're not getting up. I'm not sending you Venmo because my players sucked on a team that I just took over from the computer. Like, no, that's not happening. I can, I can upload the mic volume if you need in the future. All right. Let's move forward and see what's happening here. All right, so we got another recruiting hit. At sixteen thousand. Oh. All right, after the cuts, we got five scholarships available. And to be honest, what I would like to do 
is to bring in five players at each position uh, <clears throat> that are my players. But what we need to do is double check where these players already are. So we already have a small forward that we're okay with. Mostly okay with that center. Mostly. So both guards. I don't like him. We have a small forward and we have a center. And that's it. That's the extent of what I'm willing to accept as being on this team right now. Alright. So we definitely need guards and a power forward. And that's at a bare, bare minimum. Bare minimum. All right, so let's hit this recruiting trail. Let's see what we got, baby. Uh, first, we want to hit the guards. Yeah, let's go. And I think as long as we're in our own region, well, we can fight for these guys. Try to host them. Oh, we're in a dead period. Hold on. I know all y'all are going to recognize I missed a couple of weeks of recruiting, but the thing is with only having $16,000, we're going to be able to get in all of the visits and all of that that we actually wanted, whether we had started at the beginning or the end is kind of irrelevant. So, all right. We're going to, oh, he, some of these guys while we're at 49 are going to decline. That's fine. Right, so we got those three. Cool. Let's go. Right, so these are still just summer camps. So I can push right past them. Yeah. <laughs> Agalia wants to roast me for no visits in the month of, for the most month of July. But he's right, I just got no money, so like, <laughs> what can you do? We'll talk about that as we go forward. I've, I've gone right up to the cusp in this build with just no money and, and landed it. I skipped one week that I wanted to make visits. But it, that wasn't all not intentional. That was very much intentional. Skipping some of that. Um, what's who we're at? Oh, these guys are going to visit us now. The Trey Holmes having nothing at all to do with us. What a jerk. Um, where are we at? Oh, top 25 at Memphis. Ugh. Decent at Memphis. Gross. Top 10, yes. No. Oh, no. Get off my list. Get off my list, bro. Get off my list. You didn't stand out of Memphis. You suck so much. Alright, we'll go back and clean some of that up after the fact. MVP at Memphis. Yes, please come. Yes, thank you. Top 25. That works. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 you're off the list. Get out of here. Get off my list entirely. I don't want to call you. I don't want to watch you. I don't want to do anything with you. Get off my list. Decent. Uh, I won't kick him off. I'll kick you off. Top 25. There we go. That's more than visit. Let's go. So I just want to get all these visits out so that I can clear all the lists off of bad camp performers.
Hey, Lucas, I'm just going to send one season today. I I wanted to bring my old Dayton save forward, and I had kind of technical issues, and we couldn't figure it out. And to be honest, like, I want to start streaming more, and I thought based on where Louisville is right now, and the fact that I'm a huge Louisville fan, that it might be a little bit more of a, um interesting stream, whatever. So we decided to go with this. Alright, let's check it out. Five scholarships available. Check these emails. Let's see what we got. What are they what are the boys telling us? What are they saying? No Norton candidates. Not shocking. Okay. All right, let's go. We really need to just like hit at each position, I think. Hmm. Decent. 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 25. Just decent, though. Shooting guard prospects are not great. Didn't stand out at Memphis? Oh, he's three stars. Wait. We have absolutely awful small forward candidates. Decent. No, get out of here. No, get out of here. Didn't stand out. Go away. Top 25. All right, here we are. Nick Cunningham. Belmont is the only interested school, let me tell you. Louisville's got a little bit of interest. A little bit. Didn't stand out, no. Get out. Top 25, maybe. Maybe, Ed. Maybe. What you, what you, what you got? Decent mass spectacular. We'll, we'll leave him around. We got... Four more weeks. Four more weeks to see what's going on here. We'll figure it out. We'll score it away. All right. So here's my question. Agalia just posted a comment. He says, hopefully after you rebuild Louisville, you do another playthrough starting from the bottom. Louisville is rated a 49 right now. What would you consider the bottom? Because that's sort of where I'm, what I'm going for here is coming from the bottom. Started from the bottom, and now we're here. But Wolf was at 49, so like, mm, it kind of sucks. Now, I will say that they're <laughs> for the AM. <laughs> Florida a and was so tough. Ah, oh, I don't know if I can do that again. <clears throat> I do know that Louisville's like natural prestige is higher. And so they're going to get the benefit of the doubt to that degree. Is he denying my visit or is this just not taking? There we go. Yeah, Florida A&M was rough. Man, we had some good Rattlers. Mm. And it was cool, but... I don't know, bringing across a team that I really, really enjoy is interesting. I can't lie. It's a dead period. No, quiet period. <laughs> Gil, you posted the Rattler. 
We had some bowers at Fort A and M. Can't lie. August twenty eighth. We got two more weeks. I didn't think we'd address the centers at all. God. We gotta address the centers. We got too many needs. Six five six scholarships is too many. Ugh. But they're all southeast. We very much stayed true to the southeast. So the ones that we have, we're going to have a little bit higher of a... Mm, a little bit better success rate than those outside of the conference. But at this point, we have to make offers that players will accept. Josh, the best. You think my Hoos can win tonight? We'll see. I'm going to be checking it out for sure. Um, the one thing that I will say without any holdback. So jealous of what Tony Bennett is doing at Virginia right now. He's absolutely killing it. He's a really good basketball coach. They're they're developing a really good program and there's absolutely nothing holding them back. So like the Who's have very very much been on the radar, but like they're moving to the next level. And if they keep Tony Bennett around, they're going to keep moving up. As much as I love Louisville, we're not doing anything to even suggest that we could stay on that Tony Bennett level. So, you know, get it get it while it's uh, get it while it's good, who's. Get it while it's good. See what y'all can do. I'm gonna make a couple of hosts here, but I've gotta I've gotta put offers out. Oh, and here's a great example. So this guy's top five at Memphis. We don't have any other information on him, but look at this. No other offers. So here's the thing. When you find these players with no other offers, there are so many guys that go early in this version of the game so you have to give them the option right if you encounter a guy like this no offers oh it's easy makes it easy so adam hughes we're the top ranked team that we know for a fact have offered for the most part these other schools have offered other players and their offers are, you know, broken up because you don't want to offer so many people. We've got a guy that's hot. That's a good player. Who performed well in camp? And we're going to send an offer out. And we're going to see what happens. Let's check out these hots. Louisville. We're first. Decent at Memphis. That's not great. All right. Ignore him. Top five at Memphis. Florida State's ahead of us. That's a consideration. Didn't stand out at Memphis. Those are our power forwards. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, decent at Memphis. Like, we can get him, but he won't be great. He'll be good, but I don't know that we can get him. And, and that's what you have to think about here. We're going to move to other positions. Top 25 at Memphis. We're in the top four. Nobody else is offered. That's an easy offer. Same here. And this is trying to rebuild, right? This isn't trying to be the best team in the nation. 
This is trying to rebuild from 49 Prestige, which is different. It's different, I promise you. MVP at Memphis. Would love to have him. But look at all these schools ahead of us. And look, Arkansas is already offered. Tennessee is already offered. We have no reasonable objective reason to think that we can jump back into this conversation so like you you had to back around oh, I'm sorry you have to back off of a recruit like that Austin's got offers from Duke and Florida we're not beating them it doesn't it, it doesn't even matter if he's good or not that's irrelevant we're not beating them he's not an option let's continue All right, so here's an option. He was top 25 at Memphis. Was anybody better? No. 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 All right, so here's where we put in an offer. And let's check the point guards. <laughs> we got a lot of point guards. Hold on, let me see what we got going on over here in the chat, baby. All right, they're talking about individual players over here in the chat. And uh, I don't know which ones they are because this is my... Hey, you look. I haven't streamed in like nine months. I'm trying to get back into it. I can't do everything at once. Plus, most of these guys suck. I'm only interested like once we get boom, 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 boom. National championships. Hey. And Agalia knows what I'm talking about. What are you going to be? Agalia can't be interested in most of this. Like, he's, he might be in here trying to steal some of my information, some of my inside information. But he can't be interested in most of this because most of these guys aren't people that either Louisville or Notre Dame would even try to recruit in CBGM. Can't happen. Ulterior motives. I'm calling you out, bro. Calling you out. Reese Beekman. What are you talking about, Reese Beekman? All right, point guards. Let's see where we're at. <clears throat> we got Hots on two. Didn't stand out in Memphis. You're gone. Get off my list. Top 25. All right, you're okay. You're not great. And Clemson is probably going to beat us out for him. Mm. That's not good. All right, let's reevaluate this point guard situation. What do we have? That's a Duke commit. These two guys suck. Top 25 for Memphis. Uh. Didn't stand out. Get off the list. Mm. Oh, well, this is our dude. Let's host him and let's see if we can jump up. Sean Smith. Top 10 player at Memphis. Let's see if we can get on Smith's list. That would be huge. All right. <laughs> All right. So the excellent thing going into September 11th in this save is we know that the majority of the like five star, like the high five star and even the high fours are going to commit. 
we still have no scholarships available. So that, at the very, very least, means nobody that we offered went anywhere else. So let's see if anyone committed to us. And it's going to solely be these, my decision. Emails, so... Uh, 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 uh. Everybody, uh, uh, Adam Hughes is ours. Everybody. All right, let's check it out. Point guard, we're looking at Sean Smith. Tremendous work ethic, top 10 in Memphis. We're in here, but Georgia is the favorite. See if we can get some kind of read on them where we could beat out Georgia, maybe. <laughs> Alright, so he's a location guy out of Florida in the conference prestige. Which SEC is going to have that, not as much as ACC. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go conference prestige with him. Let's see if we can beat him out. Hey, so Agelia just said in chat, imagine what he thinks about uh, school prestige when your school prestige is 49 but to me it's sort of the same as like um, asking about school location when like your school location isn't Florida you know what I mean because like if your school location is 40 it's like oh we got the beach and we got the ocean and it's fucking cool and everybody loves Florida but there's like that uh, I think they put something into the game so that you could argue that, like, oh, well, our location's cool, too, because, like, we're in Louisville and we have the Derby. I don't know. I think there's a thing in there where you can, like, argue it and try to make a different point, whatever. Just gonna slam this recruiting class and go lay down. <laughs> this dude's obviously an academics dude. Anytime you can go location, do it. Mm. What are you interested in? For location, sure. Figure. Look at that. Location. Banging it out. You got bro. Alright. I'm out of visits, so... But we do already have Hughes. And he's top five at Memphis. Baby, baby. We're going to see how the rest of the recruiting goes. I'm going to shut it down. I know I usually run y'all through a whole season, but I am going to shut it down because it took me like no lie, like two hours to get everything lined back up so I could stream for y'all. So like I'm just kind of beat. Chris throughout streamer performance beverages. Love it. Love it, baby. Love it. Let's go. Come on. 
we got decisions all over the place and these are going to come up cards they're coming up cards here we go ed branch what you got a my school nick cunningham what you got a my school sean smith what you got coming up baby a oh <laughs> all right that one hurt that one hurt i was trying to get it like riled up but he's going to georgia that sucks all right, cool, but Kendrick did not commit. All right, so let's see what we got here. Mm. So first of all, Hughes, who we already had top five at Memphis, that's pretty good stuff. We got exactly one more scholarship to dish out. Top five at Memphis. That's an easy, easy offer, bro. That's so easy. Oh, no budget left. All right, we screwed it up right there. We screwed it up right there with the budget. So... You know, I wanted to bring y'all in, um, but that should never happen, and, and that's on me. I haven't had a recruiting season like this yet, and that's on me, and I apologize for that. I'm trying to show y'all how to do it the right way, and that, that was not the right way. It, it worked to an extent. I mean... Top 25 at Memphis. Top 25 at Memphis. And we're a 49 overall. So some things definitely worked. Excuse me. But yeah, not enough of it worked. Awesome time. Top 25. So we did good, and a number of things worked. A number of things did not work. Let me advance this to the end of the main recruiting, and I'll get you guys some of the actual seasonal schedule uh, in the next couple weeks. I wanted to give you a dose of what works and what doesn't. And... Uh, You know, it was, it was hit and miss. This guy's going to Miami, whatever. Let's get through to September, October. In October, we'll end the, the recruiting. So, we'll be good there. And what we've got, like, I'm sure some people are going to pop in and be like, oh, man, I was expecting to see, like, some expert player land everybody. But, like, that's not how it works at all. Uh, they're all going to go based on their interests, you know, their prestige, their playing time, their coach discipline, their location, all those sorts of things. So when we take a look at the recruiting class that we did bring in, that's – really the thing we had to focus on and so we got top 25 at Memphis top 25 at Memphis and Adam Hughes top 5 at Memphis those are good players those are all probably like top 100 to top 150 players in the country and when you're talking about a school that's at 49 prestige that's a solid recruiting class if if I were starting off at like 75, 80, 85 percent prestige or whatever, this would be underwhelming. But given where we're at, uh, could have been better, could have been worse. So we're going to take this and we're going to move on and we're going to improve on it. So what I'll do is I'll save this right here. Y'all can watch me save it. And I'll... Um, I'll definitely stream this again 
uh, within the next week so you guys can get that. And then we're going to try to move on to like the, the second, third, and even fourth season as soon as possible because I think that with a team like this, with a program like Louisville, I think I can turn them into a into a contender nationally within five years. And that's my promise to you. That's what I'll give you. And um, you know, I'll yell you if you disagree. Just go off somewhere. Go somewhere else. We don't need you here. We don't want you here. Yeah, hate a raid. Hate a raid goes that way. GTFO. Love y'all. Missed y'all. Been too long. But I'm out.